Welcome back to KSET previous question and solution classes. Today I will discuss 2020 paper for uh, CMP or solid state physics. The question is like this. In a cubic crystal, the interplanar spacing of HKL planes is represented by DHKL. Which of the following is correct? Which of the following is true? True. Okay. So, here D11 is greater than D10. Uh, and D110 plane is greater than D11 and uh, like this they are given. So, let us see. We know that the relation for interplanar spacing and uh, Miller indices HKL is uh, D HKL is equal to a divided by square root of h square plus k square plus l square. Okay. So, next therefore, which is equal to a divided by for d 1 1 plane see d 1 1 1 is nothing but a divided by square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square which is equal to a divided by root 3 and d 1 0 0 d 1 0 0 plane is nothing but a divided by square root of 1. So, uh, if you take uh, a relation if you take uh, consider a is equal to 1 then so let us see d 1 1 is nothing but 1 by root 3. So, what is 1 by root 3? Uh, 1 by root 3 is 0 0.57 something and uh, d 1 0 0 plane is 1. So, e is uh, 0 0.57 is greater than 1? No, right? 0 0.57 is less than 1. So, option A is not correct. Next. So, let us check this B option. So, that is D 1 1 0 is nothing but uh, 1 divided by square root of ok. Let us consider A is equal to A divided by 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 which is equal to A by root 2. If A is equal to 1, so then it is 1 by root 2 and D 1 1 plane is nothing but 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 2 is 0 0.77 something and 1 by root 3 is 0 0.57 something. So, obviously 0 0.77 is greater than 0 0.57. So, option B is correct. Okay. Once if you get the answer, no need to try another one. So, option B is correct. So, this is question number 81. Medulung energy is calculated in inert gas crystal or covalent crystal or hydrogen bonded crystals or ionic crystals. So, medulung constant is medulung energy is always uh, helps to calculate for ionic crystal. Okay. So, if we got uh, any questions related to middle and constant, we can easily choose ionic crystal. Next question 82. So, the total potential energy of a pair of inert gas atoms at separation R is given by V of R is equal to minus A by R power 6 and uh, b by 1 by 12 where a and b are positive constants the receive the repulsive force between the two atoms is the repulsive force between the two atoms is we know that the relation for force and potential is f is equal to minus of gradient of potential so here the potential is V of R is equal to minus A by R power 6 plus B divided by R power 12. 
So, now let us take a gradient of V that means differentiation of R differentiation of this potential with respect to R. If you differentiate this we will get F is equal to ok. So, minus of differentiation of R. So, it is just like 1 by uh, R power 6 is nothing but R power minus 6. Differentiation of R power minus 6 is nothing but minus 6 into R power minus 7. We can write this one as minus 6 divided by R power 7. So, therefore, which is A minus A divided by minus A 6 divided by R power 7 and if we differentiate this we will get minus 12 uh, minus 12 divided by r power b r power 13 ok. Next, so minus into minus plus which is equal to 6 a by r power 7 plus 12 b divided by r power 13. So, 6 a divided by r power 7 and uh, minus Okay, this is minus minus 12 b r power 13. So, option d is correct. So, this is question number 83. In a crystalline solid with uh, n number of unit cells, the number of allowed independent phonon modes of a branch is n, 2n, n by 2 and n square. Okay? So, answer is n. For each, for that means uh, in a solid crystal, let us consider, let us take this is solid crystal. In this solid crystals, there are n number of unit cells will be there. Okay? So, like that, there will be n number of unit cells is there. Uh, okay? In that, allowed independent phonon modes for these n number of uh, unit cells in a crystal how many number of phonons is allowed. So, for that if n number of unit cell will be there in this, this, in this uh, uh, crystal solid crystal and there will be n number of phonons is also allowed. And next question, next question heat capacity C V of a metal is measured as a function of temperature T in the low temperature region. Assume that the measure C V is due to the both electronic and uh, uh, lattice, then the plot of C V by T versus T. Actually C V by T, we know that C V for a uh, metal uh, is, is A by A into T plus B T cube. If you take C V by T A B T square. So, answer is C V by T versus T is linear in T, linear in T square, linear in T cube decreases with increasing of T. Actually, see from this equation we can say that it is linear with T square. So, linear with T square. In metals A and B, the electron density are N A and N B respectively, their respective Fermi wave vector and K F Fermi for a metal A and uh, K F B. K F A means wave vector for a metal A and uh, K F means wave vector for metal B. Okay? Then, uh, what is the relation of k f is equal to 2 k f b? If n a is equal to 4 n b, if n a is equal to n b by 4 or n a is equal to n b or n a is equal to 8 n b. Okay? So, let us see. Hmm. Here, I will calculate. We know that for a density of states energy E f is equal to h cross square by 2 m into 
uh, n square divided by uh, sorry n divided by so 2n by 3 whole power 2 by 3 and uh, we know that energy E is equal to P square by 2m and P is nothing but h cross k so therefore h cross square k square divided by 2m and this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 1 from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 we can write h cross square by 2m and h cross square by 2m is cancelled. So, 2n divided by 3 whole power 2 by 3 is equal to k square right next. So, therefore, k is equal to 2n by 3 whole power 1 by 3 right therefore 3 k divided by 2 ok 3 k cube by 2 is equal to n. So, if this is for metal A this is for A and this is also A and this is 2 n A like that for n B which is equal to 3 k b cube by 2 right next if you take a ratio of n a by n b then you will get let us take a ratio of n a by n b. So, n a by n b which is equal to k a cube by k b cube right next so therefore k a is equal to uh, k a is equal to 2 k b so then k a is equal to 2 k b let us substitute this as uh, 2 k b so that means 8 k cube divided by k cube k cube k cube cancel so therefore n a by n b is equal to 8 into 8 so therefore n a by n b is equal to 8 and uh, n a is equal to 8 n b n a is equal to 8 n b. So, option b is correct. Next question 86 a metal wire of radius r and electron density n is carrying a current i then the drift velocity V d of the electron is uh, electron uh, this wire is given by E is the charge of the electron. So, we have to calculate the drift velocity V d ok. So, let us see the drift velocity V d is equal to J current density divided by N number of charges and E charge of the electron and uh, since since J is equal to I A so current into area. So, therefore, J is equal to I A divided by N E sorry J is equal to I by A. So, which is I by N E I by N E A which is equal to I divided by n e area pi r square. So, therefore, this is drift velocity i by n e pi r square. Is there an option i by pi r square i by pi r square n e. So, option b is correct.
application of all effect are to find the type of a charge carriers in a sample, to find the density of charge in a sample and uh, to find the unknown magnetic field. So, these are the options given 1, 2 and 1, 2 are true and the third one is false. Uh, that, that means, uh, they are saying that to find the unknown magnetic field is not, not possible by using uh, this all effect. No? And 1, 2 are false and 3 is true and 1, 3 are true and uh, 2 is false and 1, 2 and 3 are true. Yes, option D is correct. That means, by using all effect we can calculate the type of a charge carriers in a sample and also density of the charge in a sample and also we can find or we can detect the magnetic field. So, all the three op uh, points are correct. So, this is the question number 88, which of the following is not to true? A superconductor is characterized by persistent current, perfect diamagnetism, existence of energy gap and heat capacity linear in temperature, which of the following is not true. We know that superconductor has persistent current and it has perfect diamagnetism ok and existence of energy gap in the superconductor is yes, definitely existence of energy gap and uh, what is heat capacity heat capacity is linear no if you take a graph cv versus a temperature it is gradually increases like this ok so like this at critical temperature when T is equal to T C, okay, so this is temperature, it is constant. That means, heat capacity is not linear. So, option D is correct. And 89, given below are two lists, lists of uh, statements, match the items in list 1 and uh, list 2 with these, okay. So, list 1 point effects, uh, superfluidity, liquid crystals, insulators. In option 2, in list 2, we have Meissner effect, fountain effect, increases with increase in temperature and uh, loss energy gap, ok, sorry, large energy gap, large energy gap and uh, orientational order orientational order ok. So, here insulators as large energy gap 4 4 and see in the given option we can easily identify how they are given see insulators have large energy gap and 4 4 in the given option which is 4 4 this is 4 4 is there any 4 4 no. So, we can easily get op we can easily guess option D is correct and also one more thing superfluidity is fountain effect ok and uh, point effects is because of increasing temperature and uh, liquid crystal uh, liquid crystal sorry this is not and uh, the liquid crystal is orientational order. Meissner effect comes under uh, superconductor, superconductor, so there is no superconductor option. So, these four are the options, so option number D is correct.